Do you know what is Pascal Triangle? How do you know it? Oh, do you remember this? And this? This is the picture of a Pascal Triangle. Pascal Triangle was invented by Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal is a French mathematician. He was born in clermont verrat on June 19, 1623. He had many accomplishments in mathematics and science. Pascal died in 1662 at the age of 39 before his work was published. One of his valuable accomplishments was published in 1665, which is Trait du Triangle Arithmetic or Pascal's Arithmetic Triangle. How to make the triangle? First, for row 0, start with 1 at the top, then continue placing numbers below it in a triangular pattern for row 1. For row 2, except for the edges, which are all 1, each number is just the two numbers above it added together. Just do the same for row 3, and for the next row, do the same method. Now, for the big question is, do you think Pascal really invented that triangle? Um, probably not. The triangle also found first in 11th century in Hindu Arabic. His name is Omar Khayyam. In 1070, Omar Khayyam, a Persian mathematician, astronomer and a philosopher work on a binomial expansion and the numerical coefficients which are the values of a row in Pascal triangle. In late 12th century, besides Hindu Arabic, ancient Chinese mathematician also published similar number pattern to those of Hindu mathematicians. Yang Hui acknowledged the triangle was invented first by previous mathematicians named Jia Xian in his book Liu Xi. This was known from the work of Yang Hui in his book named Xiang Qi Qiu Xiang Xuan Fa. Unfortunately, the book now had been lost. Ancient Chinese version of Pascal Triangle has little different style in writing the Pascal Triangle compared to the Hindu Arabic one. They use road numerals to write the triangle and the writing looks like isoscale triangle. If you look carefully, Pascal's original version of triangle was more closely similar to Arabic mathematician way of writing the triangle, although it is older than ancient Chinese style of writing the triangle. Even in fact, many of ancient China mathematical invention was not really considered by Western scientists in previous century. This might happen for some reason. Why did this happen? As we know the social structure of ancient Chinese people at the time, keeping knowledge and invention only to those who have high social status. Ancient Chinese way of writing technique used broad numerals and complicated writing structure that was hard to be translated by European scientists at the time. Many reasons mathematics historian believe that it was because of ancient Chinese mathematician invention was solely based on inductive approach, while the Western mathematician thinking was ostensibly based on logical deductive foundation of the ancient Greek. And now, why Pascal Triangle more popular? There are some reasons about the development of Pascal Triangle. For the first, based on the social condition of Renaissance, in Europe, the thinking of society were very open in knowledge and information. They also shared and exchanged the ideas with each other. For example, Pascal shared his paper to other famous mathematicians such as Pierre de Fermat. 
Fahmat received his copy before September of 1654 about Pascal's Traité du Triangle Arithmetic, or in English, Treatise on Arithmetic Triangle. So, it had been recorded and documented to be explored better. In addition, mathematicians thought in understanding the concept, reasoning, and problem-solving mathematics focus on deductive ways. Deductive way means that theory is based on assumption, conjecture, or postulate first, then being proven using general concepts of mathematics. This method is considered beneficial in the development of Pascal Triangle since its concept is mostly general. The second, based on the number, as we know the number that used in Hindu Arabic. At this time, Hindu Arabic numbers were used by almost the whole world, such as in Europe, West and Middle East Asia. It can be read and known almost all over the world, so it is easy in understanding, developing and spreading Pascal Triangle. The third, based on usefulness. As we know that Pascal was not the inventor of the arithmetic triangle, but his name is forever linked with the triangle and given credit because of how he relate and use it with probability, expectation, and exposition of the properties of binomial coefficient. Pascal also applied the arithmetic triangle to the problems of stakes in games of chance. In the section entitled, Utilization of the arithmetic triangle to determine the number of games required between two players who play a large number of games. It also used for gambling. Pascal triangle was developed because it could be applied in their real life. Addition information, gambling was written in a book by Frenchman Pierre Raymond de Momo, preferred to the triangle as table of Mr. Pascal for combination. Because of him, finally, it becomes known as Pascal Triangle. Lesson from the phenomenon that Chinese triangles are not really popular is that a knowledge developed through centuries is a knowledge that is open and in supportive environment. Open environment allows various change for improvement for, from active critics and wide publication. As spoken before, the knowledge of Pascal Triangle was developed more through the commentary by other mathematicians rather than through its original paper. Besides, the ways of most mathematician proof mathematics influenced its development. Chinese proving method that was inductive is not in line with current proving method that is used. Chinese method in binding Pascal Triangle was mostly based on a trial and error and specific information rather than empirical analysis and deductive reasoning. That is why, when Renaissance come, Chinese inductive ways of proving is not that considered since at the time, Renaissance mostly used deductive reasoning rather than inductive reasoning. That open and supportive environment where a knowledge lives makes them responsive to change in the world. Just like a boat, it will survive when it adjusts to sail, responding to the environment. It is the same with what happened in any civilization. Knowledge remains when its civilization keeps constructing the knowledge to perfection.